All right, guys, what's up? BP Hero back at you here, swinging the Louisville Slugger, a Scott Hartling signature model. This is a 27 ounce, half ounce of inload, two piece composite barrel, composite handle. But this does feature uh, the advanced composite that the uh, all the other Genesis stuff has. So we're expecting a fast break in. We're gonna be hitting a mix of BP rockets and some hard stuff. Did get a few swings in with it with 52s uh, before we got the session started here. So uh, here it is on the compression tester, as you can see. This has a little bit of breaking in to do, but we uh, expect this to uh, come down and kind of hang out at a certain spot. So let's get some swings in with it, see what we get. Louisville Slugger has made a lot of reviews possible for us, including the one we're checking out here. And for that, we can't thank them enough for their continued support on the channel. Speaking of supporting the channel, Headbanger Sports is also a huge contributor for us, and they've got these available for you guys to purchase using code BPHERO at checkout, or you also have the option to reach out to me, and I can get you situated with one as well. You got options. That we're swinging in the video today is a 27 ounce. Is it available in 25 through 28 ounce? It's a two-piece with a composite barrel and a composite handle. It features a 13-inch composite barrel and a half ounce of inload. The combo of the 13 inch and the half ounce works really well for these bats. We love swinging them and it seems to be the best option for an all around bat that's something that can hit for a ton of power and you still have plenty of barrel to work with to use that power all over the field. If you can name it, it's probably a combo that they offer or you're gonna have something damn near similar to it. For the 12 inch stuff, you've got a balanced a half ounce and a full ounce of inload. For the 13, you've got a balanced, you've got a half ounce, you've got a full ounce. Then for the one-piece stuff, there's a one-piece balanced, and they have offered a one-piece inload as well. And there might be something else cool coming soon. And they have even rolled out a 14-inch barrel that features a half ounce of inload, so that's really fun to swing. Like, if you can name it, they probably make something, and it's all really good. As I mentioned, we got this thing started with 52s off camera and then got into the hard stuff once we got here. BP Rockets, Deadly Thunder Zen Pro M's, NSA 44 400s. All the hard stuff, all the fun stuff to swing is what we're hitting here for this video. It's about a 70 degree day. And the fence is like 315 in the corners and 350 in the gaps. The usual stuff you're used to seeing. Real quick, let's get up close and personal with this thing and then we will tell you what we thought about it. So here it is on the compression tester, getting the party started at a little over 300. We're used to seeing that out of the Louisvilles. And then after we got done with all our swings, it's coming in right around the 290 mark. And even with that considered, you can see this thing's hitting the ball really well. So Louisville has absolutely mastered getting something to hold compression, even test high and hit well. So we're used to seeing that out of this thing. So if you are worried about the high compression, don't be alarmed. And getting an up close look at this thing, People come up with all kinds of crazy names for bats on social media. I don't know why they're not calling this one the Screaming Eagle. Just look at that thing. It looks absolutely insane. This is one of the cleanest bats that we've seen from Louisville. It is approved for U-Triple-SA, NSA, and ISA play. And just kind of looking up and down this 13-inch barrel here, you see no seams. You see no issues. There is some spider webbing in the paint, which is completely normal. It's just where the paint's been flexing. Shows up on these lighter-colored bats. But this is no indication of a seam or any blemish at all. This is under the paint. It's under the clear coat. It's not going to give you an issue at all. And real quick, look at the grip on this thing too. It looks absolutely sick. Louisville knocked it out of the park on this one for sure. They made some pretty good looking bats. And this one falls right into that category with those as well. All right, so stop me if you've heard any of this before. Actually, don't. Just subscribe to the channel. But anyway, <laughs> um, Speaking of subscribe to the channel, let's real quick talk about the fact that if we hit 20,000 subs this year in 2024, we're giving away 20 bats. We're not quite getting the results we're looking for here. We are still in around the 12,000 range, but persistence is key here, guys. The squeaky hinge gets the oil, so I'm just going to stay on you about it, and you're going to subscribe if you're not already, and then I'm going to give away 20 bats. It's that easy. Oh, All the yeah. shenanigans inside here. Me and Spencer had a lot of fun swinging this thing, and Louisville has yet again done it. They have... Mastered, getting something to break in, test high, hit well, hold compression, feel great. Louisville is probably the most consistent performer on the market, if you ask me. And that's going from model to model. That's going from each model consistently performing as far as like on the barrel goes. Like there's some bats out there that while they might be good, they might not be the same performance off the barrel every time unless you get it in a certain spot. 
But the thing with these Louisvilles is the entire bat is a sweet spot. It doesn't matter if it's a one piece, if it's a two piece, whatever it is, the entire barrel is usable on every bat they make. And to me, that's what gives them a lot of edge over some of the other companies. Performance is right there near the top. There's a handful of bats that do outperform them. I'm not going to sit here and act like they don't, but it's not enough to bridge a gap to make it worth going with those bats. I would 100% swing one of these over one of those top performers just because I know what I'm getting with this thing out of every swing. Those top performers might be great bats as well, but if I know that I'm going to lose, like I'm talking 5% performance, to know that I could have the consistent result on every single swing, I'm taking that all day long. That's why I game an Iron Man Genesis and I'm not looking back. The Louisville stuff just makes it so easy to be a good hitter. I personally feel like Louisville is probably the best brand out there right now in the 240 space. So if you're curious about one of these, if this fits the specs that you like in a bat, then I feel like this is probably a no-brainer for you. Louisville's done it yet again. Huge thanks to them for sending this out to us. Huge thanks to Headbanger Sports for making sure we've always got deals for you guys on stuff like this. Be sure and check out the extras here, all the extra swings that we did want to put in this video just so we can get kind of quick and to the point here. Swing hard in case you hit it. BP Hero, catch you next time.